What's up YouTube, it's Jamie here and today I have an interesting review for you. I will be going over a piece of hardware, the Free Maxilla tank. So this is a pretty cool tank. It's your normal sub-ohm tank, except something that they boast about this is it uses food grade ceramic coils, which is really interesting. Um, there are other coil options for it, but you know, ceramic coil, it's, you know, it's something new, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, another thing I like about this is it includes an RBA deck. So if you are a builder and like to build on RTAs and stuff, this is your cup of tea. It's got a pretty fairly decently sized RBA deck uh, with a double post, which is what I like a lot. So yeah, let me take this thing apart and get some close-ups of it and show you guys some more. All right, so first off, I will be just unboxing this and showing you everything that comes inside. So yeah, here is your Freemax Scylla box. Um, pretty simple, you know, what you'd expect. You now you got your contents over here. You now it comes with the tank replacement coil, replacement tubes, O-rings, user manual, all that stuff. You got your scratch and check over here. So yeah, let's pop this thing open. Alright, so here's your first look at the Scylla tank. I'm just going to put this over to the side right now. You will obviously see more of it later. But I'm just unboxing right now. So what else we got in the box? We got O-rings, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Um, and they give you two blue screwdrivers instead of one. Looks like you got your flathead and your Phillips. <laughs> So you can just add those to your collection. I'm sure you have many of them. And we got our replacement glass. And here is the RTA piece that it comes with. Um, I'll be getting more into this thing later, but this is what turns your tank into an RTA. Got yourself a little pad of organic cotton that comes with it. And Here's some more screws, O-rings, and as such. So yeah, pretty much everything you need to get this thing started, you know, besides juice and a mod. Um, so yeah, let me get into this tank. Let me take it apart and show you more. All right, so here we have your first view of the Free Maxilla. So yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty cool looking tank. Um, it's really simple design. You got your little engravings down here. Yeah, it's a really simple design. It is a 22 millimeter tank, so this will sit flush on a lot of your devices. It is 22 millimeters. So yeah, um, simple enough to take this thing apart. All you're gonna do, just like pretty much every other tank, is just spin it apart. It should pop right out. All right, so here we got our bottom piece in our chimney. So yeah, once again, Real easy, just spin it out. And here is where we have our food grade ceramic coil. So this is a pretty interesting coil. Um, I'm gonna do the best I can to show you the inside of it. It might be a little difficult. Uh, let's get a light in here. All right, so this is about as good as it's gonna get. Um, so yeah, normally where you would have your cotton in here is where you will have your ceramic. And it basically looks the same as cotton. It looks a little bit more solid. But I don't know if you can see those little slits in there. That is the wire spinning around the ceramic. You can kind of see the top of it uh, where it starts right up here. Where the wick starts. Sorry, this is really tiny. It's really hard to get a good, uh, get a good look at it. Yeah, something else that was kind of interesting is the intake holes on this are very tiny. And yeah, another thing cool about this coil is the wattage difference you can take this thing to. It says it is rated from 20 watts to 160. So yeah, it's a pretty, <laughs> it's a pretty big difference in temperatures you could have there. They claim it has a cleaner flavor. It has a much longer durability. It lasts three to five times longer than a regular coil, and it wicks very fast. So, yeah, kind of interesting. All right, 
So next up, the airflow ring on this thing. The airflow is, you know, they did an extremely well job with this airflow. There is more air than I need on this thing. So yeah, really simple, just your little ring clicks into place. I believe there's eight different, uh, different settings you can have in it, eight different little clickies. So yeah, when it's open all the way up, it is a really, really airy draw, this thing you can pull a lot of air through it. <laughs> I'm talking a lot, I never have this thing fully open. Most of the times, at the most, it'll be halfway open for me. But, you know, some people like airier draws, some people like, you know, uh, larger coils, hotter builds that, you know, you gotta have a lot of airflow for them. So yeah, the airflows are 12 mils by three mils, I believe, and it goes through eight positions. So yeah, really cool. Uh, let me put this thing back together and I will show you how to fill it. All right, so this is a top fill device. The Scylla is a top fill and it is very easy. It's non-threaded, so you don't have to worry about stripping your threads. It's got a locking rail inside, so all you're really gonna do, twist it maybe about 90 degrees, that's it. And it just pops right off. You can kind of see how it fits in there. It's just got this one little locking mechanism right here that fits in the side and locks in. And it'll only spin about 90 degrees. So yeah, you got these big, these two big ass air holes, or not air holes, sorry, fill holes. Um, should be very, fairly simple to fill this thing. Uh, there's a lot of room for juice to get in there quite fast. So yeah, once again, I put this thing back on, just line it up, pops back in and twist it 90 degrees and you are set to go. The capacity in here, it is a four milliliter capacity tank, which, you know, that's pretty average. Not, you know, enormous, but not too tiny where you're gonna be filling it up, you know, a hundred times a day. All right, so now I will be showing you the RTA deck this thing comes with. Kind of looks like the uh, sub tank RBA deck that it comes with, except you got two holes on here this time. So let's pop this thing open and I'll give you a closer look. So this pops right off. Um, this is the build that comes with it. Uh, I believe it is a five or six rep of 26 gauge Canthal. So yeah, pretty cool deck. You got your airflow straight in the middle. It comes up right from the middle. And then these little posts right here, you can do single coil builds on it. You can see there's two little parts to this post. You can take this top part off just to have a single coil in there. But then you are going to have to block off one of these holes if you're doing a single, um, which really isn't that hard at all. So yeah, I mean, there's a good amount of space on this thing. You could probably fit some pretty interesting coils in here. You could probably get a Clapton or two in here maybe. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting little deck. Uh, I will throw a build on it in a second and tell you how I like it. All right, so now I have the RTA section inside of my Scylla. Um, I used the same build. This is the build that it comes with. It is the uh, stacked horizontal coils. Um, roughly, let's see, what did it come out to? It came out to 0.4 ohms. Pretty simple, the The way to wick this is, it's really not that hard. Um, just all you're gonna do is basically, all right, so you have your two channels right here. Basically what you're gonna do is just get a really long piece of cotton and just flatten one out, flatten one side out. And basically what you're going to do is stick it through that hole, make sure it goes through the coil and pull it out through the other side. And then when you are done, you are going to cut your wicks flush with the outer cap because it will not fit inside of your tank if they are not flush. There will be too much cotton to fit in there. So yeah, um, overall, my first thoughts of this thing, I like it a lot. It wicks very well. The dual coils, the two holes on each side, you know, there's, there's a lot of space there, a lot more than the sub tank deck or anything like that. 
Um, so yeah, it does wick really good. Right now I am vaping it at around 55 watts and I have not been getting dry hits, which is really nice. So yeah, let me take a few pulls really quick. I'll show you what it does. So yeah, this thing, it vapes really well. Um, I didn't get a single dry hit. It wicks really nicely if you if you do it right. You just gotta, you know, keep your cotton flush to the sides and just, you know, make sure it's not all bunched up in there. Make sure you're not using too much cotton because you will get dry hits if you are using too much. So yeah, overall, I like this thing a lot. I can chain vape this RTA, or chain vape this tank in RTA mode. You just really, you just really got to wig it right, which I mean, it's the same with every single RTA tank. I've been getting really into RTAs recently, and um, you know, I'm, so, I'm starting to dig this one. I like it a lot. It's, it's really nice. The airflow is super wide open on here. You know, I have it about halfway. That's yeah, more than enough for me. That's plenty good. But you know, if you're using a bigger build or something, and you needed some more airflow to, you know, dial down the heat, and I mean, go for it. You got plenty of room. Yeah, so that's it for the RTA section. I'm going to be throwing the ceramic coil in here and telling you what I think about it now. All right, so now I have the ceramic coil in the Scylla, so I will be going over it, talking about it, and vaping it. So my first initial impressions of it when I first loaded it up is it does take a second to prime it. So don't just throw your juice in there and just go on taking drags and stuff because it will burn up. But yeah, um, I thought the flavor was pretty good. Um, it tastes really clean. You don't get any of that, you know, cottony taste, the new cotton taste that you get from uh, some of the other coils. But yeah, I thought it was decent. Uh, it's rated at 20 to 160 watts but i didn't feel like i started getting any sort of you know satiable vape until about 35 watts i took it up to about 100 i did start to get a little bit of burnt notes like right over 100 but um yeah nonetheless you could definitely use it for high wattage this thing has a lot of airflow in it um and the ceramic coils, you know, it's it's not necessarily a new thing. There have been ceramic coils in the past, but to put them into sub-ohm tanks, that's a new thing. So, yeah, overall the ceramic coil, um, it works the same as any other sub-coil, except I think it tastes a little bit cleaner at first when you're vaping out of it. I have not had the longevity tested in it yet. I will be back with an update to tell you about this, but um, I haven't vaped it for you know, long enough to, you know, support their claim that it lasts three to five times longer than other coils. But yeah, first impressions, very tasty, uh, very clean tasting. Uh, it just, you just might need a little bit more power than they say. So yeah. All right, so overall, I really like this tank. The RTA function on it is awesome. Even the sub -um coils that come with it are very good. You know, if you're too lazy to throw a build in the RTA, then you know, just toss a sub ohm coil and you're good to go. The flavor is very good. The airflow is, you know, tremendous. There's a lot of airflow to this tank, which I like a lot. And it's also really cool. There's a couple other options on there that I think are, you know, really nice to have. Like the uh, the drip tip is insulated. It will not, will not get hot. And also the top fill is very nice. It's very easy to use. You know, you don't have giant threads on it that you could, you know, mess up. It's really easy to take it on and off. It's just literally, you know, pop, 90 degree turn, stays on. Um, this is probably one of the easiest tanks to fill that I have used. So that is definitely a plus. Overall, I like this thing a lot. It's a really good device to use if you, you know, if you just want a sub ohm tank and you're thinking about getting into RTAs, this might be one to scoop up. It's really you know, it's the best of both worlds, for sure. So yeah, I will leave a link down in the description down below to pick this thing up from Max Vaping. Um, they have pretty much all the options uh, for this device. They have the clap-ins, the ceramics. So yeah, pretty good device. I like it a lot. I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. It is very versatile. It's very easy to use, very easy to build on. You know, it's just a really good overall piece of hardware.